All right, we're going to talk about Young Ashley. Now, Young Ashley, she been staring people down. Young Ashley been calling people out. Young Ashley is reading them like a book is what the young people say. They read her. Young Ashley's calling out everybody. Now, we know in different TV shows, one of the most ruthless places that you can be and get called out by a family member is the dinner table. And that is where Ashley seems to strike every moment. She seizes every opportunity. She's a young Diana in the making. Now, Ashley, if you remember, Carlton threatened her. Carlton threatened her last season. She opened up the damn, uh, well, he closed the locker. Ashley seen him say, you want to get your ass out of here, girl. Young Ashley is different. Now, like I said, join the Discord. It's pinned in the chat. Uh, young Ashley, how old is Ashley? Ashley's supposed to be, what, 13? Man, they got Ashley acting like a 45-year-old. Ashley, if you watch this show, Ashley is the most mature person on this show. She's the only person that thinks logically in the house. She's the only person that can see behind the smile. Smiling faces. Smiling faces tell lies. They don't tell the truth. Ashley knows the bullshit that's going on. Ashley's calling out her parents. She's calling out Charles. I mean, not Charles Carlton. She's calling out, uh, I was about to say Viv again. She's calling out Hillary. I'm like, damn, Ashley. Chill, girl. Chill, girl. And this all goes back to this. Her and Olivia. She telling Olivia, Olivia, like, oh my God, your family is just, oh my God, they're so magnificent. Phil and Viv down there doing the next power couple. They talk about Jay Z and Beyonce, Barack, and um, she's Louise. I'm about to say Vivian. She didn't. <clears throat> Barack and Michelle. And then they were talking about Philip Banks and Vivian Banks. I said, damn. Those are some good names to be aligned with. But Ashley's looking at it. And Ashley's like, no, 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 no. That's bullshit. That's a facade right there. That right there is smoke and mirrors. It looked good, but only on camera. Behind the scenes, Viv is taking trips to San Diego. If you don't know what San Diego stands for, the definition of San Diego, according to Ron Burgundy, is the inside of a whale's vagina. I didn't make that up. That's what San Diego stands for. But she didn't went on trips down there. This season, we see her flirting with young, uh, what's the boy's name? Yeah, I forgot the chef's name. Oh, well. Uh, Sharif. Ashley's like, hell, forget all that. Ashley's like, nah, that ain't real. That ain't what Mary J was talking about. That ain't that real love. Then was the next, oh, we see Ashley at the dinner table. They like, Ashley, what's wrong with you? She's talking about, why are we just talking about all the good times? What did Carlton actually learn in rehab? Man, Carlton ain't learned nothing in rehab. I went to, um, so I used to have AA meetings. Now, it wasn't because I was an alcoholic. It was just mandated because I was accused of a DUI. So I had to do three weeks in there. The worst shit ever. I don't, like, if you need to go in there to get help, hey. Have at it. But they had me in there, and I wasn't a, I wasn't a drunk or anything. I just had to go because I was wrongfully accused. I beat that case, too. But I had to go do that. I'm, so I'm sitting in there. They talking about, like, so the first week I was just with a counselor by myself. And I'm in there telling them, like, hey, bro, I don't have no problem, man. Like, I wasn't driving a car. I was smart enough to have me a DD. But they didn't want to try to hear that. So I had to do that, and then I did the group for, like, the two weeks. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. I'm in there. I'm looking at these dudes like other people on the base. Like, damn, y'all niggas is wild. Because you know what they in there for. Because all that we got is called a legal blotter. So whenever somebody like gets in trouble, trouble on base, they put it on. They don't put your name. But you can pretty much match it with like they rank and stuff and where they work at. But that's neither here or there. But Ashley's like, no, 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 no. We need to talk about Carlton and what Carlton did. Hey, young champ, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> yeah. 
because everyone's just so happy. This family is so fake, man. Do you guys believe in this in this uh in this situation? Do you believe that Ashley was right to say this? I know Carlton just got back, but Ashley asking these questions is no different than them putting a padlock on the wine cellar. Well, it's just a drinker who got away with a DUI. No, 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 no. Hey, man, we're not going through that story, man. Hey, I beat the case. I had me a DD. Excuse me. Y'all know, hey, you know I'll go upstairs and find the paperwork. I'll show you the whole story and what happened. Like, you know me. I ain't afraid to show my mishaps in life. You feel me? But, oh, well, I showed y'all the FBI records. For when I was trying to get over here, you know, I had to get that secret clearance. I showed y'all the FBI record. It really showed that it wasn't, you know what I'm saying, nothing happened. But Ashley, she's the only one asking Carlton, hey, Carlton, what did you learn? What do you what do we need to know to help you out? Instead of just putting a padlock on the damn wine cellar. Like, what? What? It's ridiculous. And then Phil trying to make it easier talking about what is it, Bumblebee? Man, young Ashley is she she's at that age, she ain't young Bumblebee no more. Ashley is finding herself. Ashley is an activist. She ain't no Bumblebee. She wants to know Carlton. You are a full-fledged junkie. I've seen you at junkie level now there's five levels to being a junkie she's seen carl to that junkie level 3.5 almost a four so that's why she's asking these questions remember she's seen him in the hallway he was in there turning up turned down for what was his theme song in season one and two so as she's like man look man i just i just want to know so that was ashley's first occurrence of calling somebody out. The next one. Was that this episode? Oh, yeah. The next one was. uh Oh, no. It was episode two. So in episode two. Come on. Find it, Mo. I know you got it. Was it episode two? Yeah, it was episode two when she called out. Oh, I don't know if I got it. But anyway, episode two is when she went and called out Hillary before they went to find out that uh, Jazz was broke. Remember when they were sitting down and she was like, I seen you kissing Jazz at Dad's party. I'm like, God damn it. God damn. They were in the open like that. I saw you kissing Jazz at Dad's party. Now, they supposed to have a girl's day out. And then she still wanted to go over to see Jazz. So she called she called Hillary out with the jazz situation when they were sitting on the couch before they had girls day out. I seen you kissing jazz. She like, oh, no, that wasn't nothing. And then when they were out with mom, remember, she was saying, hey, what was it? Uh, Cantina Colts. Cantina Colts. She was like, man, we rented out the whole thing. And Hillary was like, um, that's what I always talk about. Kids being ungrateful. But. Once Viv got up and left, what was the first thing Ashley said? You ain't really trying to marry LaMarcus. I'm like, damn, Ashley. How does Ashley, the 13-year-old, know everything that's going on in the house? You know who Ashley reminds me of? Not, not in the sense of how she, like, maneuvers, but how smart she is. There's this girl that used to wear all black. She was very, very pale-skinned. She had long, long hair, and her name was a weekday. Who am I talking about? 
that's who Ashley reminds me of. Kind of mysterious, does her own thing, moves when she want to move, but she knows everything that's going on. Who am I talking about? Let's see if y'all know y'all shows. Wednesday Adams. Yep. She reminds me of Wednesday without the weirdness. It's just like whenever you see Wednesday, Wednesday's never smiling. She just walking around, but she know everything that's going on. She gonna hold shit against you if you get out of line. That's how Ashley is. Ashley knows the parents fucking up. She knows Carlton fucking up. She know Hillary fucking up. Ashley knows everything, but she does her own thing. I'm I'll say this. They made one mishap with Ashley's character, in my opinion. Yeah, we know Ashley likes girls, so she's trying to find who she is. I don't care about that. My only thing was when they were playing flag football. She shouldn't have been out there playing flag football. They shouldn't have put that in there with her playing flag football with these uh, fucking adult niggas while I got them LaMarcus and Hillary are like kissing. Like, that was inappropriate. But other than that, I like what they're doing with Ashley's character this season because we know something's going to backfire on her. She's talking to Olivia. Shout out to Kendall. She's running her mouth too much to Olivia. Olivia knows about Hillary. She talked about, you want to talk about your sister? Ashley's like, hell no, I got some lyrics I want to spit. Then she's about to start a band. So it's like, man, what the hell is Ashley about to do? So I, I'm, I, I am curious to see how her story develops. You know what I mean? I do want to see how Ashley's story develops because now they're starting to give her like they're giving her more parts because when we were seeing her in middle school, it was cool. Oh, they get an extra homework. All right, blah, blah, blah. But now they're actually making Ashley's character about Ashley. You know, her character was tied into the teacher. Now with the, Ashley's character, they're saying, OK, Ashley, you got a character. We're going to expand your storyline. So I like I like that. And that's why I said Ashley, like 45, Ashley know everything that's going on. Ashley's really the auntie of the family. That's how Ashley is. Ashley's the auntie of the family. She looks, she see everything. She Now, Hillary, I've seen you over there kissing jazz. You know you engaged, right? Oh, it was nothing. No, you can't fool me. I know it was something. It's like, damn, okay. And then she calling out Carlton. Telling Olivia that her family is fake. I'm like, damn, all right. Fuck it. That's what we own. That's what we own. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. I want to, uh, I think I got a screenshot of the band paperwork. So we can see what the actual band stuff says. Wait, when was that? Oh, here we go. Here we go. It says. I don't know. This is kind of blurry. Band members wanted. All instruments needed. I think it says open to everyone. Come and. I guess come and showcase your talent. I know for sure this is your talent. So I guess come and demonstrate or come and showcase your talent. Okay, all intimate um band members want it. Looking for something, something, something. All intimate uh, intimate, all instruments uh needed. Open to everyone, come and showcase your talent. Let me let me see if I can find those bars that Ashley had. Give me a second, man. Let me see if we can find those bars that Ashley had without getting the copyright. You know me, I like to risk it. I'm doing it for y'all, man. So hit that like button. If we get cut off, just know I tried. And with my last words, I'm gonna tell y'all I love y'all. It's been a good run. But let me see if we can find some of them uh, them lyrics, them flows that Ashley was spitting. We're going to break it down and see if she's really telling the truth about the family.
All right, here we go. Here we go. We about to we about to hear some flows. We're going to break it down bar by bar though. It's All right, here we go. 47 It's a story about a family looking picture perfect, but deep inside me, it's really like a circus. It's all about a family that's living picture perfect, but behind the picture, it ain't nothing but a circus. Okay, I hear you, Ashley. What you got? What you got? Smiling for the camera, but it's all a damn charade. Behind closed doors, it's a fucking masquerade. Uh, okay. I'm liking the bars, okay? Delivery is kind of stiff. It's kind of stale. But I'm fucking with it, okay? Let me run that back one time. I don't think we understand. I don't think we comprehend it. Ashley letting it be known. It's a story about a family looking picture perfect. But deep inside me, it's really like a circus. All right. Oh, is 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 a story about a family looking picture perfect? Okay, I hear it. I hear it. I, I feel it. Smiling for the camera, but it's all a damn charade. Behind closed doors, it's a fucking masquerade. Ooh. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing. Hey, this is real hip hop right here. This is real hip hop right here. Real hip hop. We need it. We need it, Ashley. Ashley is our savior. No more of that. We ain't got no sexy red. We ain't got no ice spice, no Nicki Minaj, no Cardi B, no Meg Thee Stallion, no Lotto, no Cola Ray, no goddamn Gorilla. None of that. We got Ashley Banks. Bumblebee. Ooh, this is fire. I'm about to sign her to never get paid up. <laughs> <laughs> never get paid records you know what i mean you got could have been records you got cash money records and you got never gonna get paid you feel me oh she's spitting them bars all right ash i fuck with it i fuck with it ash let me see what else ash had going on so she got a band that she's trying to put together uh that's pretty much it for ashley <laughs> Yeah, that, that's really it for Ashley. So Ashley highlights is calling the family out, keeping it funky, keeping it real, and starting a band. One more time for the road, y'all. One more time for the road, man. Y'all put your hands together for Ashley Banks, man. Come on down to the stage, young lady. Come on down to the stage. We got you. Next up, young Ashley with a freestyle from Bel Air. It's a story about a family looking picture perfect, but deep inside me, it's really like a circus. Smiling for the camera, but it's all a damn charade. Behind closed doors, it's a fucking masquerade. Ooh, I bet Will Smith himself wrote them bars. Ooh, we need a Grammy. We need a Grammy for this. All right, young Ash. We good. We good. All right, young Ashley got a future in rap. Now, I wonder, do you get... <laughs> hey, yo, yo, yo. Everybody tells Zay, chill, chill, chill. Oh, yeah, young champ. I thought you would... I thought those were apples. Those are tomatoes. Man, y'all can't throw... The... She's 13 years old. You know on the Apollo, we don't... We can't boo the kids. Come on, man. Them my ball. It was like a triple entendre in there. I'm like, damn, okay. We looked in picture perfect. Behind the scenes is really a circus. Yeah. Yeah. Behind the mask. I mean, it's really a masquerade. Oh, the, the, the bars. Oh, now y'all booing. Now y'all, okay. See, we don't respect the kids over here. See, I thought... I thought earlier this was a child friendly chat. Well, you know, YouTube never. No, no video I get on. As soon as my face get on there and my voice come on, it's never a child. Like all my shit is 18 and older. It just automatically goes there. Damn, Ashley. I got your back, girl. Hey, do you guys think that they're gonna do the the you know what I'm saying? When Carlton was up there dancing and shit, that like we can't replicate that. That was good. 
when Ash was up there singing and then Carlton and Will's up there. <laughs> do we do we do we see Will and Carlton helping? Because they got I know they're gonna try to like do something for that. But do we see them helping her out with this band? Oh, they can have a little fundraiser and have Ashley come up there and perform and have the uh, the city council lady, Yolanda, have them come up there and perform also. No, nah, that, that was real bars right there. Tantiana Ali had real talent. Hey, she did have a song. We on some free time right now before we go into the next character. I seen uh, Toria said uh, Carlton, so we'll talk about Carlton next. Um, Tantiana, Tantiana Ali, she had a song. What was that damn song that she had? Daydreaming, wasn't it? That was actually a cool song. It was like daydreaming or something. Let me see. I, let me see. I think it was daydreaming. Yeah, it was this song. Yeah, I remember this song. Tantiana Ali had. Yeah, I remember that song. That was a cool little song, too. I was like, oh, man, that's Ashley Banks. Oh, they were like, man, she actually got a career outside of this. I was like, oh, shit, that's what's up. 